Hello friends and welcome back to, did I just sound like Nikki Tutorials? It's not Nikki Tutorials, it's me, Chelsea Suarez. Welcome back to my channel where we do what? Just give our opinions. That's all we do. I'm just a lady with a bulldog and a camera and what? Far too many opinions that I'm gonna give to you. You're welcome. You don't have to receive them. You don't have to care. We don't have to agree. <sighs> But I'm gonna talk about it. Cause that's one thing I do. I talk and I don't shut up. Thank God my husband is a man of few words. Otherwise it wouldn't work out. <laughs> okay, today we have quite a doozy from what I've heard to watch. It's yet another IGTV, I guess you would call it. Is it still called that or IG video, whatever. <laughs> and a Monate girl talking about like basically having like someone that she recruited like share her sob story. From what I have been told and from the little bit that I've seen of this already, I haven't watched the full thing. It is so atrocious that we have to watch it. So let's go ahead and give her a gander. So before we get too far into this video, let's talk about the sponsor of this video, which is FlexiSpot and their E7 Pro Plus standing desk. And that is actually the desk that I am using today. Y'all know that we just moved. I used to have an L-shaped desk that was honestly pretty rickety, as I like to say, a little bit janky. It was just some cheap one that I had my mom buy me from Amazon like, what, two years ago? And I thought I was so cool. Little did I know it was not, not good quality, not super stable. And this is a whole new world for me. And I am obsessed. Y'all know I would always get so nervous whenever Wiggum, my bulldog, would go under my desk. And I always felt like he was just gonna get tangled in a cable and <laughs> just get scared and run off in my entire desk. And everything on it was just gonna be trailed out of my office with him. And it was gonna ruin my whole life. Well, now I don't have to worry about that. As a commentary, creator. I'm obviously sitting at my desk constantly filming. This is literally what I do all day long. This is the place where I spend the most of my time. So having a good and sturdy and versatile desk is extremely important to me. I need to be able to be comfortable. I need to be able to come in here randomly during the day, at night, whatever, and especially being pregnant too. I need to make sure that I am not just sitting the entire time because your girl gets leg cramps. Tony and I put the desk together the other day and I am absolutely obsessed with it and so happy with it. So I'm going to show you a little time lapse and let you know that it only took us about 30 minutes to actually set up the desk and assemble it. And then obviously it took a, li a little bit longer for me to get everything where I wanted it and plug everything in. There is cable management as well, which again is super important to me so that I don't just have a bunch of cables underneath my desk and having my feet get caught in them, having my dog get caught in them. And then of course having everything up and tucked away and sturdy and stable is super important to me especially with a child coming as well. It was super easy to set the different modes, the different presets, if you will, for the perfect sitting height for me and then also the perfect standing height. And it's such a game changer. I love that I don't have to worry about me leaning on it. Is it gonna have something fall off? Is it gonna make my mic all wobbly? Is it going to flip over if I'm leaning on it? And as you can tell in this footage, it is not. It is super comfortable. Tony even got on top of the desk and decided to test out the 355 pound load capacity. And of course, there's obviously a USB port on the side of the little preset keypad. And then there's a child lock too and anti-collision anti as well. And all of that is extremely important to me, especially because this room is not only my office, but then this is the baby's room too. And it's perfect for any height because look how high that goes. That is crazy. Tony got a little spooked being up that high. And there is a 30-day risk-free return policy. And on top of that, a 15-year warranty. And I highly recommend recommend that you give it a try. And not only if you're a YouTuber, not only if you're a commentary creator, you know, someone who works from home, but someone who just needs a desk because having, having a wobbly, rickety, janky desk is, it makes me so nervous and gives me so much anxiety. So now that everything's stable, everything's good, nothing's moving except for up and down if I want it to, that is, it makes me so happy. Also quick little side note too, y'all know I have horrible posture, which is fine, but I feel like having an adjustable desk as well, so I'm not just hunched over has really helped me kind of have like a reminder of like, oh yeah, let me just like actually sit up straight and not be a goblin at my desk. So another little added plus for you. So go ahead and click the link below. Get yourself a Pro Plus standing desk. I have the E7. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. And I think that you would too. So go ahead and click that link below. And also thank you FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video and sending me this desk. I love you. And now back to the video. As always, 
The people in this video, I don't know them. I don't need to know them. That's the great thing about this is that they're just an example. Okay, this is nothing against them. They might be the nicest people ever. They might be super hardworking. They might not even be aware that they are in a alleged pyramid scheme. They might not even be aware that they are manipulating other people under the false pretenses that this is such a great life-changing opportunity. They might not be aware that they're in a commercial cult, in my opinion. But that's the thing is that knowingly or unknowingly is still wrong and it's still not okay and it's still happening no i look crazy but i don't even care because this story is even crazier how i signed up my lyft driver who i met in las vegas she just joined my team team mamacitas the way that we met is crazy her story is crazy if you don't have tissues go grab it because you're not going to want to miss this story it's so amazing it's so emotional it's so powerful um the fact that we met by chance in Las Vegas, 3,000 market partners were there with money. How many Lyft and Uber drivers do you think were driving around that that week? And yet, for whatever reason, fate would have it that she was the one who picked me up. And I can't wait for you guys to hear this story of how we connected, how we met. She'd actually been following me um, since 2016, I think she said. And I just want her to tell the story. Um, I think this might be her first live ever. So I'm going to let her in so that we can share what God did because it is pretty crazy. I got a question. I have many, actually. One, this is more of a statement. Every time that they are in anywhere, but every time they are in Las Vegas, I have so many people that DM me and are like, I came for like a girls weekend with my mom and it is overrun with my eight girls right now and it is my nightmare. Yeah, that's what happens. I feel you. I feel you. I think I already told y'all, but I went to the pool the other day and there was this girl there and I thought she looked familiar and my friend, well, my neighbor, but also friend that was with me at the pool was like, oh, do you know her? And I was like, oh, I think she's in Monet. And I was like, oh, never mind. And then she flung out her towel and it said, mom, on eight passport and I was just like oh f but it's okay it's fine I'm not gonna like go up to her and pretty sure she's not gonna go up to me if they start problems then I will become a problem for them but I'm never gonna instigate anything that's inappropriate and just not cute like you're trying to relax by the pool who cares if you're in a cult right I'm also confused as to like why would why were why was she following you who are you should I know who you are do I you probably have me blocked so I wouldn't know anyways but yeah, get ready for the sob story. There she is. Hi. Hey, girl. I kind of briefed before you jumped on, talked about how we met in Las Vegas, but I want to just dive right in so we can have this to look back on a year from now when we look back and say, look how much your life has changed. So without further ado, y'all meet my girl, Cindy, the newest mamacita. Like I said, she was my Lyft driver. So let's talk about that story. How did that all go down, girl? Well, I got to, uh, you know, you sit at the lot and wait, and you're on a queue. So you don't really know who you're going to get. You know, you just, you're waiting. So I got a queue. Um, it said a random name. It didn't say your name. So, you know, just showed up. The regular, the regular MO, you know, to drive, head there, send my text message, you know, that, hey, I'm coming by. Look out for the Hello Kitty plates. You guys were already waiting for that. So, you know, that's my MO. I send the text message, let the passenger know. Then I'm on my way and to be waiting for me, you know? So once you guys showed up, you had a lot of luggage. <laughs> and so we're there for two days, you guys. We had so much luggage and you handled it like a boss. So I was immediately yeah. impressed by you. That was one thing. I remember just seeing you lift all the bags and we tried to help, but you were like, no, no, no. You had all the car doors open for us and you're lifting all these heavy bags like Tetris. I was like, how is she going to fit all this in this trunk? And you did. And then you drive us to the MGM Grand. And then what happened when we got out of the car? I knew when I seen you and while you were watching me load the luggage, you were just watching me, just staring. And I'm like, oh my God, can she just walk away? That's why I opened the door, get in. But no, you were just staring and I'm like, okay. This story is weird already and I really don't like it. I'm uncomfy. But I do love the MGM Grand though. That is every time I've stayed in, been to Las Vegas, which is always been before I was 18 years old. We always stayed at the MGM. It's a really nice hotel. It's also like really huge. So much walking, oh my God. And I'm like, okay, it's cool. You know, this is what I do on a daily. I know what it is. I know how it works. So I started loading them. And as soon as I was done, you were like, I'm impressed. Like, that's what it is. And I'm like, yeah, you know, let's go. So, you know, we got in the car and then we left. And, and that's what I do. I, I just try to work as efficient as I can. You were efficient. And I was so impressed by your work ethic, how just attention to detail you were. And just a hustler, just that boss energy that boss vibe you took your job very seriously and again i was impressed the way you fit like six suitcases into the back of your car so then we get to the hotel and you're unloading our bags 
And so while you were standing there, I knew. I was like, I know. What? You knew that she was a hustler and had work ethic, by the way, that she put bags in a trunk? <sighs> like, I know who she is. Like, I immediately, I was like, I seen your face, so beautiful, your hair, everything. And I'm like, that's her. It, I mean, you're undeniably beautiful and recognizable but to me because i've been watching you since 2016 like i said so i was like i'm not gonna say nothing i'm not gonna say nothing i'm just gonna just unload it you know do my job i'm not there to like you know to instagram or cloud or whatever it is i'm not there i want you to feel comfortable i'm not there to overwhelm you or whatever so when you got out the car i was like in my mind i was like i have to tell her because I know she's, she will be willing to let me be her driver. Like if we talk business-wise, I know she'll be willing to, you know? So I'm like, I'm going to ask her. I have my business card. I'm going to ask her. But like I said, I stayed my chauffeur personality. I drove you, didn't say nothing. I put the music. You guys were loving it. So I'm like, I'm doing my job. When you got out, I was like, this is the time. If I don't have any, any, any time to feel confident, to open up my mouth, because ain't nobody going to get fed if you don't ask. So I was like, you're the girl on Instagram. But I was so horribly, <laughs> I felt horrible because it's disrespectful to say that in my mind. Like, oh. I can't remember that that girl. No, I wanted to say your name, but I couldn't. I didn't remember. So I was like, you know what? I know it's her. I'm going to go back. I know I have saved. I have you saved. So she was about to give her her like personal like chauffeur services card, which is very smart for people who d drive Uber and all that to do. Definitely very smart or Lyft, whatever they do. So and maybe she did do it. But then that turned around to her then getting poached for a pyramid scheme, alleged pyramid scheme and being recruited into it and ultimately paying the $199, 200 however much to join that <laughs> like what what girl you can make you can make more money with uber and being a private driver than you can in money statistically that has been proven i'm gonna go back and look for her sure enough as soon as you laugh you saying that you know it might not take it took a while but i was i was scrolling and scrolling and i'm like i know i have her and when i found you it was when you and your sister met that goal i saved that because it was impactful to me so i'm like that's her that's alicia Alicia Blanco. I was like, I got it. So I DM'd you. I was like, I don't care. I'm going to slide in those DMs and tell her. I'm your lips at her. That was me. I told you. I knew. You smelled divine. I mean, the outfit, everything. You were on point. Like, I knew it was you. I knew it. Girl, she smelled that Baccarat. She smelled my Baccarat perfume or whatever. No, that's yeah. like, I literally, Cindy, when you said you're that girl, I literally was like, oh, yeah. Not to be an a-hole, but I'm going to be. You don't pronounce the T and Baccarat. I'm sure she was probably wearing Baccarat Rouge, but. She's confusing me with someone else. There's no way she knows me, girl from Arizona, you're in Vegas, there's no way you know who I am. And when I got that DM, you were like, I knew it was you, I should have taken a picture with you. And I was like, oh my gosh, she really, does. She re it's really, it's, it's true, she knows me. And then a few minutes later, um, yeah, okay, Phoenix Runners, I did. Um, later that night, I got an application that you filled out that you wanna work the business with me. And I was like, oh my gosh, so we got on the phone and you started driving us around the rest of the time that we were there in um, in Vegas. Thanks. You drove us around to dinner and you were just our personal driver for the rest of the time we we're there. And the whole time I'm like, look at this girl's hustle. Look how hard she works. Look how efficient she is. Look how, I'm just so impressed by your attention to detail. I'm just so impressed by, by all of it. And the way that this business can literally connect people the way that it does. It's so ironic, not only ironic, but wrong. Sorry if it sounds like I like have a lisp. I also have nothing wrong with having a lisp, duh. But I've been chewing ice a lot and like craving it because I am just a little bit anemic. Well, even more anemic now that I'm pregnant, but I've been craving chewing ice and I just have to chew ice all the time. I know it's not great for me. Leave me alone, okay? Leave me alone. I could be doing drugs, but I'm not. Okay, but it's so crazy that she's like, that this business connects you. No, babe, that's Instagram. She followed you through Instagram. It's not that business that connects you. Also, so she did end up being their private driver the entire time they were there. I really, 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 really hope, really hope that she not only tipped her, but over tipped her. Like for being so like on demand for them. If she didn't, she deserves a quick, I do not condone violence for legal purposes. That's a joke. I mentioned the business to you because I saw that you had filled out the application. I was like, girl, with work, the work, ethic, yeah, with the work ethic, you it, so well. Seeing it on Instagram and then 
seeing you in person is stamped for me. Like it's real. I've seen the hair. I've seen how you how you carry yourself. I'm like, how can I not say no to that? You know that if I I know I have the work ethic. And if I can put that same energy to something that I can see already being successful, why not? Well, and that's something I took away from that is you have been following me since 2016. And I was like, how come you never reached out to me and wanted to do this business? But you said it was seeing it in person, seeing that it was real, that you saw me and my sister's hair. You saw, you saw that it was real. You saw that the hustle was real. You saw 3,000 other market partners in Vegas, a trip that they didn't have to pay for. We earned this trip. You were surrounded by Monet Energy three days. So you saw it in person what you have been watching since 2016. And I've been watching. And then the other thing that, yes, I've been watching you, but also- A lot of them did still pay for things. No matter where you are, you can, you know, be cheap with drinks and with food and stuff. I've had multiple people reach out to me and be like, girl, there are people there who will go on this vacation, not vacation, this work trip, and it is a work trip, and they try to make it seem like it's so luxurious and so much fun, but it's quite easy to make Vegas look like that on social media, it, like, to make anything look like that on social media, but especially somewhere like Vegas. And then also, to take that even further, when they're like off of social media, it's like eating at Subway three times a day, <laughs> or like just getting fast food, or like random little snacks, or like four girls to a hotel room. It's flying on Spirit. Nothing wrong with Spirit. That's fine. But don't act like it's a luxury trip when you're like taking Southwest. I do love Southwest though, girl. I, I ain't too good for Southwest or Spirit, okay? But I'm also not gonna act like it's like, oh my God, all inclusive, all paid for, blah, 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 when it's, yeah, it's just, it's annoying. There's, with that, there's never gonna be a time where it is truly, truly, truly nothing out of pocket unless it is money elite trip that they actually are having at the time I'm filming this video. I think they're at Amangari. I think maybe that's just someone else. That expensive. I was going to do that for my birthday, but I was pregnant. So didn't want to not enjoy it. Yeah. So actually I think they're going to like Rome or something. I don't know. I know one, like one or two of them missed the flight, which is absolutely hilarious karma for, you know, being in a cult. You are paying for it because it is reported on your taxes. But then also even further than that, you are paying to join the MLM. So yeah, like one way or another, you are paying for it. You are having to shell out money to be able to be involved in it. So it's like, it's not free. So stop saying it's free. I've been watching you, but also, you know, I have a life that is a struggle. So it's also that scare, that fear, the, the unknown, um, just sticking to what I already know. You know, I was a teacher, a Lyft driver, so, and being a mom of four kids. So, I mean, I stuck to that until I had to, you know, I lost everything. I, during COVID, I got evicted. I lost my house. I lost my relationship. I, two days before I met you, I signed my bankruptcy paper. And it's like, what can can I do to make a change? And like I said, yeah, I've been following you, but to see you in person. The fact that this girl on top is also like that background with the girl on the bottom, get it. Love that. Love that for you. That's so cute. But the girl on top, like you are downright rotten. You are rotten for hearing all of this, knowing all of this, that she'd been evicted that she had nothing, again, nothing wrong with having four kids. I'm one of four. But to like know that this person has been through so much struggle and so many hardships, especially financial hardships, the bankruptcy, being evicted, all of this within the past two or three years, and you are still going to take advantage of them for your own financial gain, that is infuriating and that is so evil. That is so rotten. And again, this person can be like, I'm just giving them an opportunity. No, you're not. You're taking advantage of them and saying that it's an opportunity and convincing yourself that you're helping them to make yourself feel better, to have this savior complex because you're brainwashed. Person to see the success and for you to be humble. Yes, you might have a lot of money, but you ordered me, you know, not a luxury car or, you know, it just, you were okay. And that's what I like. I, I like. It's also weird because it's like, you saw the success. Did you? Did she see numbers in your bank account? No, she didn't because you wouldn't show her that. Did she see your tax forms? No, because you wouldn't show her that. I mean, I don't know if she didn't, but they like can't show that. So how, how do you see the success? It's all smoke and mirrors. You saw maybe what she described earlier was all the superficial stuff, like all these, you know, young, pretty girls 
who look like they have money. Money talks, wealth whispers, okay? And you can be a bit more materialistic. You can like that type of stuff. It's okay. Good for you if you want that. But most of the time, people who actually have the success and the money and the wealth that these people try to prove that they have on social media, which they they don't, usually those types of people, the ones who actually have it, are, are not flaunting it like that. If you actually have that, you don't want people to know how much money you have. It, it's none of their business. I like to be humble. I, I like to know where I'm coming from. I know I work hard. I know I'm not in the best situation, but the money is there. But there's more. I, I want to share what I'm going through because it's relatable. And it is. Speak Speaking of what you're going through, I hope you see some of these comments about how your life is about to change. A year from now, you will not recognize your life, Cindy. With your work ethic, you won't recognize your life. If you apply that same work ethic that I saw, you will not recognize your life a year from now. And talking about where your life is today, you guys, I had no idea, okay? And this is where I'm going to start to cry. And, and Cindy, you can share whatever you want, but I had no idea what was going on in this girl's life. I just knew, okay, single mom of four, she works 12-hour shifts, seven days a week, and she's like, okay, if I, if I save up, like if I do like five, six more rides, I'll be able to buy the product pack by next Friday. Like she was already like hustling mentally. Like, how do I make sure I can afford this product pack? And when I get back to my hotel, she's like, let's do it. I'm ready to sign up. And I had no idea what was really going on in her life. If you want to share. Yeah. And, and you're welcome to share too. That's why I, I had to wait my time with you. I knew you were busy. I knew you wanted me to sign on and, and I knew that you had this event and that's why I left you alone. You know, I know she's gonna get to me. I know what I'm ready to join, what I'm ready to do. Because like I said, I'm a mom of four teenagers. They're back to back. My oldest is 16, 15, 14, and 13. That's the way to do it. Bang it out and get them, get them all out at the same time. Like, okay, at least, at least she didn't know like that much of the struggle that this person was going through. That's like a little bit more comforting, but it's, it's just the whole mantra of the, you're not going to recognize your life in a year if you just work really hard. So let's do that then. Let's check back in in a year with this person or even now with them. I mean, what, it's probably been three months, two months by the time I post this video that they recruited her. So has she made money? Has she ranked up? Is her life different? Probably not. The only reason your life would be different or that they're like, oh my God, everything has changed. Not everything has changed. No, no, not everything has changed. Girl, look at that profit and loss statement. Look how much money you have wasted. Look at how much time you have wasted. I really hope that she doesn't like spend more money on that than she does doing like Uber and Lyft and stuff. Because again, like I said, statistically, she can make more money doing Uber and all that. And, you know, do, being a like a private chauffeur, she can absolutely make more money. So that's really frustrating. And I really hope that she doesn't just get super, super brainwashed. But it seems like, unfortunately, that she will be someone who is more susceptible to that. Because, you know, she is, she's down bad from what she's saying and she's probably because she does like have that like pride and that work ethic from what they're saying that she's going to be someone who really is just like I have to make this work I have to make this work like and just keep th that's just so unfortunate like someone who is so desperate for it and so hopeful and just like wants it so bad it's like ugh, it's the worst when those type of people get into MLMs because it's like they'll they'll internalize it and they'll be like well I just have to work harder and it's like no doesn't matter how hard you work at this, like it's not gonna happen. And that's not me trying to be discouraging. It's just statistically, <laughs> it's a broken system. It's not how it works. Um, like they say, white, white and black, the paperwork is what matters in this world. So me showing my dedication to my kids was foremost the first thing in my mind. My oldest is in high school, he does culinary. He goes to the number one magnet school here in, in Las Vegas. Like. I put in work for that, that's not easy. Regardless of the situation I'm in, I will not let that determine what my kids have to go through. Wow. Like, then my second one does engineer robotics. The third one, he just got accepted to, uh, to, to a performing arts school. He's gonna be studying tech theater. He likes this whole Instagram, filming, editing. You know, he, he was the manager for the drama play for Shakespeare. You know, these are things that I like to expose my kids, regardless of what I'm going through. They don't need to know. They know, but it does not need to affect them. And like I said- This is starting to piss me off. 
I'll tell you, that is a that is a, a good mom. I mean, she's raising from what it sounds like. And we don't know if she's a reliable narrator. I mean, she she doesn't seem like a completely person but that's awesome like that is that is wonderful and you can just tell that she wants the absolute best for her kids and is working her ass off to provide for them and then here comes little miss mon eight with her scam ready to go ready to to scam you and take your money and your time and your hard work infuriating absolutely infuriating uh two days before you for, from a year ago i got evicted and i lost my house during covid i lost a relationship I, I knew it was not a healthy relationship so i decided to end that and 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 lucky enough or not lucky you know god always does something for a reason it was not a healthy environment so we we lost our house um the people that owned the house sold it to universal studios the theme park that is going to be built here and demolished all the house and made us leave so it was it's like, what do we do? But at the same time, I'm like, this is my way out. For me and my kids, out of this unhealthy relationship, I got to go. So my, my only option was to move my kids into my parents' house. My parents allow my kids to be in my parents, in their house. I am not allowed there. So I sleep in my vehicle. I work at the airport. I clean my car every day because I do not allow anybody to know that I work in my car. I'm getting sued for a car that I owned when I was young, and that's what determined the bankruptcy. I couldn't pay $12,000. The lawyer was calling me for $12,000. And I said, I don't have it. He said, but you live in your car and you work out your car, so you should have money. I didn't think that this story could get worse, but it, it did. It, it did. She recruited a homeless mother of four who works two jobs, now three jobs, because she's in money. But they are so brainwashed that they will be like, oh my God, your life's gonna change so much. I'm so excited for you. Like, But the thing is, is that they're gonna use this woman and her story to recruit other people and other people and other people and other people, if she has real success or not. And that is awful. I paid $800 for my kids to have a safe roof over their head because I just want custody. I just got divorced, finalized it in November. I cannot lose that. I know what is best for my kids. And they are set, like I said, I work hard for them to be in these magnet programs to have a successful life. Not to have what I'm going through, to have your parents not support you, not to believe in you. Um, just because I don't go to church, that's not right. Um, I am my mother i take my kids to school every day i feed them she said just because i don't go to church does that mean that are her parents jehovah's witness i'm sleeping in a car that does not determine if i feed my kids i i t i feed them so my day is i i i sleep in like i end my shift around 2 a.m and i sleep at the airport lot for the lift drivers and then i wake up at 5 30 head home to pick up my kids so they can get ready, you know, clean whatever they've made a mess, let the dog out, whatever, and take them to school, each one of them. Then I go back to the airport lot to do more rides so I can take care of my kids, then pick them up from school, then I feed them, I make them food at the house, I take a shower, and then I go back to the airport lot so I could take a nap, and then I start my real lift serious job around 8 p.m. till 2 a.m. so I can feed the kids. This is a good paying job. I was a teacher. That's what I love to do. I teach. I love to teach. But teaching isn't paying. Lift is paying. Lift pays the bills. Lift pays the mortgage. Lift pays to maintain four kids in a magnet school. Well, okay. Lift pays shampoo, shampoo about to start paying you, okay? I'm just shampoo's not gonna start paying her. Recruiting people will start paying her. How is she supposed to be recruiting people into this opportunity when she it also where where is she going to put all this stuff because she's uh, she's unhoused i mean obviously yeah she can put it in her car but like how is someone who lives in their car going to be successfully recruiting people into a lifestyle opportunity type of business scam i'm gonna throw that out there you've got to be paid for taking a shower the products that you're using in your shower that everyone in a household household could use you the, the men in the house, the kids in the house, the dog. You're about to be paid for taking a shower. No, you're not. You're paid for recruiting and for selling the product. 
You're not paid for taking a shower. Stop lying. Dogs in the house. We have a consumable essential product that everyone in the house can use. And that's what's going to start paying you more than you could ever dream. No, or imagine. If you take yeah. it, if you take all, all your other jobs. No, yeah. Because yes, Lyft pays the bills, but doesn't help me succeed in life. Doesn't get me ahead. Doesn't get me what I deserve. But this, what you're offering me is the, is that that little bit that gets you ahead. That, 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 that makes you happy. That, that you don't have migraines every day or you're stressed or you don't know who might come to your car. You know, you can't, you're not comfortable. I don't sleep comfortable. I can't sleep. It's every five minutes checking, hoping nobody's next to my car. That's, it's not fair. And with this option that you gave me, it lets me know that there is financial freedom. The, 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 the work ethic I have, the, the passion that I have, the creativity. I've already gone to business school. I've gone to business school and teaching school, but I cannot succeed by myself. I have to make a two people paying job for my kids. So with the offer that you're giving me, I'm so happy to say that I'm taking the leap of faith. I got the keys for a small office, what you see here, to start creating. And then also that gives me a safe place to sleep for a little bit. You know, it's not the best, but it's the start. So she's now paying more money for money because she got a small office for her to work her money business. And she hasn't, from what it sounds like, it doesn't sound like she's made any money yet. We're off to a great start. That's all I gotta do, it's a start. It's a and, and the lady is allowing me to, to do my content here, you know, and I'm gonna still bring you guys along the journey of the bankruptcy and you know, going on the court, taking my kids to school, still doing the lift, you know, the foodie. But then this, when you see me here, is gonna be my sanctuary. Yeah. It's where I, you know, I can feel comfortable. I'll do my lives. I'll talk to you guys. I'll let you guys know how's it going. The journey with my hair, you know, I cut my hair. I used to have it long, but being Hispanic, not knowing, not being knowledgeable about hair. Now, I cannot wait to have my hair looking like yours and be, you know, flowing in the air and, you know, just, you know, making the videos with the curls and putting the creams and all that. It, it just, to the, so the point where... To the point where I, my mom didn't teach me how to wear makeup. So I'm, I'm about to be 40 years old and I'm bringing you guys along to this whole new world. You can teach yourself how to do all that stuff on YouTube. You can watch YouTube tutorials. You can find real cheap products that are way cheaper than money. And guess, guess who's pretty good at makeup? Me, this girl, it's me. And guess who taught me? Myself on YouTube. <laughs> I've literally watched YouTube videos and everything I, almost everything I know how to do is, is from the internet. And I cannot wait. And you have to, to just big, give a big why. It's those four babies and it's your safety, your peace of mind. Yes, hold on. Pain ends. What did I say on the phone with you earlier? Hold on, pain ends and help other people elevate. Give them hope. Give them confidence again with their hair, their skin, their finances, their living situation. You have no idea what people are going through in the world. Not, not a clue. And the way that God brought Cindy and I together is so divine, so divinely orchestrated. Like I said, 3,000 market partners were in Vegas and who knows how many Uber drivers and Lyft drivers yet. God said, no, these two need to meet in person, not just through social media, but- Let's not try to blame or put it on God that you took advantage of this woman. You took advantage of this struggling woman. Let's not do that. Okay, let's just not do that. I know it makes people feel better or it makes them feel like they aren't in control of what happens. And yes, you know, I, I do believe everything happens for a reason, blah, blah, blah. My beliefs in this don't matter. And it's just so ridiculous to put God into it. And it really is faith manipulation. And that's very sad because that can be so so strong in keeping people in it. Like, no, God wanted this to happen. Did he? Did he want you to start selling shampoo and recruiting people into a pyramid scheme? I don't think God wants that for you. I might not be, you know, the best Christian ever, haven't been to church in a while, but like, I'm pretty sure Jesus doesn't want that for you. Media, but in person, so that the things that Cindy has been following me since 2016, she could see it in real life. She could see that it is real. She could see and touch our hair and see it, see it, see the lifestyle and the, the the community and the excitement and the joy and the travel and how, how excited everyone was. Like she got to see- She saw the brainwashing. She saw your hair that looks good in person. What, what, what does that matter? But what hasn't she seen? The money, the numbers, because you can't show her that. And yet that's what matters. That's what's gonna get her out of the car. 
that's what's going to help her be able to provide for her family. It's not the community. It's not the hair looking good. You can be a baddie and live in your car. Your hair can look great. Your skin can look great. You can have a great lifestyle on social media and still be homeless and broke and struggling going through bankruptcy. Is the community going to support her through bankruptcy financially? Peace and love and well wishes and girl boss posts on Instagram don't pay the bills. Money does. Got to see it firsthand. And then I got to hear her story firsthand. And if that, if that ain't a blessing, if that ain't a miracle, I don't know what to tell you. If you're not taking this and like bawling with us, like, yo, this story is insane. And she signed up and she's going to hit the ground running. She's already um, in her back office. She's already making a list of all the people she knows could use these products. They're all the people that she wants to link arms with and work this business with. If you didn't hear, she also has like two other businesses. She's done, gone to school for. She sells food. She's a hustler. I just like to create. I just like to, to, to get to know people, to help. I don't charge to make my reels. I, I go to these foodie places, to these food trucks, because I know what it is to be a vendor. It's hard. So I'm going to pay for my food. I'm going to make a reel. And if you are genuinely sweet to me, because they don't know who I am. So I'm just going to order one plate, two plates, because that's basically what I can afford. I'm really realistically going for a mutual understanding. I would like to try your food. Can I make a video? And simple. But because I like to do it. I I, I like to meet people. I like to know the stories. Look how creative I, just, I would have never thought, hey, can I eat your food and make a reel and then we can like exchange like finance. Like the, the way your brain already works, like as a businesswoman, I'm- But she already just said that she does that for free. So you're working for free. So she's already good at working for free. Woman, I'm so impressed. You're so efficient. You are so hardworking. The way that your brain already is already preparing you for crushing this business. So I'm just so so thankful to God that we met. I can't wait to see a year from now to go back and watch this story, to hear you share your story on stage, to hear you talk about where you started. Like I said on our call, I think the success I've had today. Girl, you know what you're really saying is that you can't wait to continue to use her and her story to benefit yourself. That's what you're saying. Oh my Lord. Well, oh, well, anyone can be successful in business because she is. Oh, no, that's not how that works. That's so unfortunate. I hate this. Also, this is a lot of love bombing, a lot of love bombing, a lot of faith manipulation, but like a lot of love bombing. Like you're such a hustler. You're going to do so well. She's already making a list of how many people, you know, she's gonna try to recruit it's like yeah everyone in every mlm does that that's called the hundreds list come on it's not revolutionary making a list of every single person you know so that you can just completely obliterate your family and friends i credit it to the fact that i've shared my journey of when i lived in a bedroom when i joined this business i was living in that casita i talked about it a million times so i give when i lived in a bedroom i think she means like when she lived in like a small like guest house that's what a, a casita is basically like a detached like office or you know like a guest room it's just really funny that she's like when i lived in that bedroom it's giving what what season of drag race was it and who was it i can't remember but that one clip when they're like i've lived a very hard life i was born at a very young age i couldn't walk i couldn't talk <laughs> i was born at a very young age the first two years of my life i couldn't even walk I couldn't even fend for myself. It's one of my favorites. It's so good. So much credit to the fact that I've just been taking people on the journey and that's what you're about to do. You're about to talk about how you slept in your car, but you didn't let that stop you. You fed your four babies. You worked 12 hour shifts, seven days a week, whatever you could do, selling food, driving Lyft and Uber. It, nothing can stop you. Coming up with reels and getting paid to post them, but now you're gonna get paid to post your face, your hair. No, I, I don't get paid for, I don't get paid to post the reels. I do that. Yeah, see, she, the girl's not even listening. Like, no, I don't get paid for that. So like, that's not good business sense then. You should be getting paid for that because you're giving them a service. If she even is, I don't know how she's doing it or if they're even quality. Do that because I like it. Even more heartstrings being tugged because if you're just doing it for fun, now you're going to do it to actually feed your babies, to feed you, to pay rent. Also, you're not going to be making reels for money because I hate to tell you this, reels aren't monetized anymore. So some sometimes they're like switching things up and like making it a lot. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what the fudge meta is doing. It's infuriating, honestly. But yeah, not everyone had not just no, most people do not have access to reels monetization. And I can guarantee you that neither of these people do. If I don't, they sure don't so no you're not being paid to post you're not being paid to be on social media to wash your hair to change your hair care products it's such a lie it is absolutely rotten blasphemy save up money 
to continue paying for your babies' culinary schools and all the things that you mentioned that they're all doing with so much passion in your voice, the things you were listing off, that you're able to still give your kids a life that they deserve. No matter how hard life has been for you, you still keep freaking going. And that's literally what this business takes is grit because there will be hard days. There will be people laughing in your face. There will be people slamming the door in your face, rolling their eyes, making fun of you. But you don't seem like a person who's going to be bothered by that. You seem like you're going to be like, bring it on more. In fact, in fact, you told me when you got a hater already, you're like, I'm not going to block you. I want you to have front row seats to this show. So the girl, Cindy, let's give them something to see, shall we? Yeah, because that's why I did this, because I, I, you gave me this. It says, Cindy, believe in yourself. And I'm like, I, that's all I need. I need to, I needed somebody to believe in me, to remind me who I am. Not everyone who disagrees with you is a hater. I feel like we've been over that many, 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 many times. So key. Not everyone who disagrees with what you're doing is a hater. Sometimes your <laughs> sometimes your haters are right. Also, please don't send any hate to Cindy. Girl, she she's she's going through it, all right? And and that's all it is. And that's what you did. You reminded me, and I'm ready. I'm ready to do the pop-up. I'm ready to you know, I'm getting my box on Monday. So I want to do an unboxing here. You know, I I, I just there is so much creativity, so many things I would like to do. The lady that is letting me stay here, you know, she she already has a business. You know, she already does beauty and stuff like that. And to have somebody believe in my creativity and then- The thing that sucks is that it sounds like she's saying she's gonna do like a pop-up shop. She's gonna do like a live unboxing of all the products. It sounds like she is really going to be coming from the approach of like the products. And unfortunately with money, that's that's not how you're gonna be able to make money. I just really hope that she gets out, but all, like I don't want her to recruit anyone. I want her to be successful and not in an MLM, but like, I want her to snap out of it and realize like, wow, this, like I was love bombed, I was taken advantage of, like that's really messed up. It's just really sad. She sounds awesome. Like I'm, I'm team Cindy. Put free Cindy in the comments, not hashtag though, cause then it'll get stuck in my held for review folder and then I'll never see it. Cause that is a, war zone in that then that filtered folder i'm gonna be able to expose her business with my business and helping each other like you we said and help other people elevate we all eat we all win we all win you help someone else win you're inevitably gonna win inevitably going to win too like it's literally the dream job we get paid for the personal development and to help other people feel good about themselves whether that's physically now you're saying you get paid for the personal development no you don't you get again you get paid for recruiting people into your scam and for selling, in my opinion, overpriced mediocre products. Themselves, whether that's physically or the stuff on the inside, which counts way more. The no, and that's what, she, and that's what she told me. She was like, we're so give, so much of a giver because we're waiting for that person to give it to us. And that's what you did for me. I've been giving and giving and giving that finally somebody seen me, you see me. Because like, when you're a driver, nobody sees you. You're just, you're just a driver, but you see me and that means a lot. Baby, she didn't see you. She took advantage of you. She doesn't see you as an equal. She sees you as a dollar sign. Because I, I feel like I've been just, been avoided, been pushed on and nobody has noticed me until you did. And I appreciate that. <laughs> God, I, I'm speechless. I really have no words. I'm, I think we should end it there because I'm just going to keep crying the rest of this. I believe in you, girl. Cindy, I believe. I think we should end it there. And yet there's five more minutes of this. She's she's saying that th like that she's a blessing to her and like reminds her of whatever. But it's like a reminder of what? She had, th Cindy hasn't had any success yet. She just started. She hasn't even received your product, Pat. Why are you doing a call with her? So this is nothing but a sob story and an attempt to try to recruit more people who are just real down bad like Cindy is. I don't know a, a better way to phrase it because my brain is broken. It outweighs the tough days. It far outweighs the rejection. It far outweighs any negative that could come your way. So thank you for reinstilling that into me and reminding me to keep going. And I just can't wait to watch what you do with this business. I really can't. I'm so excited for you. And I'm connecting you with a bunch of the Vegas women out there in Vegas who are market partners in Las Vegas. And they've already invited you to a bunch of their meetups. And I'm just so excited of you. I'm so proud of you already. Thank so you. And um, like I said, I just got this office. I'm gonna take pictures of how it looks now and then how, you know, I eventually would like it to look like you do, you know, you have it, you know, I want the little shelves with the product exposed, you know, I wanna be able to do the little videos and like how you do it and have my little pop-up, have a couch, it's comfortable, it's homey. So, you know, you'll see it transform. There is one wall done. 
but the rest is not done. So I'll take a picture, you know, we'll, we'll see. And then I cannot wait till you come back to your next year when you have your paid trip again to Vegas. So is she paying for a place? I really hope she's not because that's, re that's really unfortunate. I hope she's not. Either way though, still sucks. You get to come see my, my office, my content creator office, my, you know, my home. Because I don't, I don't think that's opportunity that you've given me or that this lady has given me that I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna leave it. I, it's a, I feel like the friendship that I made with you and made with her are gonna be long term. It's a business. It's like we, it's gonna work. It's we're doing it. We're doing it, girl. I'm so proud of you. Oh, you guys are buying a Miami. Never mind. But hopefully, you know, if you know, once I get it done, that's just another trip. There's we. The, oh. Nate takes us on so many trips. Miami is one of them. Vegas is one of them. We're going to the Bahamas again. Dominican Republic. You will lose track of how many trips you will earn in this business. You will not only lose track of all the trips that they offer, but you will lose money. Your work ethic. You better get your bags ready to be packed get your passport ready because you're about to earn all these trips with that work, work ethic because here's the thing a lot of people sign up and say they want to do this a lot of people will sign up buy the product pack say they need to change their life they want to do this but you know what only two percent of the people that you sign up are actually going to do the damn thing and something tells me cindy you're one of the people that's going to be part of that two percent who will do the damn thing who won't be so easily um turned away by rejection and being told no in the hard days you've been through so much stuff it's been those hard days have just armored you up giving you thick skin and grit and that work ethic like i'm just so excited for you girl so excited yeah. and, and it's just fear you know i don't really like to tell my story because you know people use that to to harm you they don't use that to help i mean that's unfortunate if anyone's gonna use her story against her to harm her that's messed up it's that's stupid don't do that but it's also on the flip side of that it's like well isn't that what your upline's doing they're exploiting your story and it's not necessarily to harm you but it's to benefit them not to benefit you and girl you better get used to sharing your story because they're gonna make you share your story non-stop absolutely non-stop help you you know and so it is sometimes it's pretty it's a thin line to expose yourself sometimes like that but I know I'm in a, in a safe place with you guys. I know you guys are all showing me love and then I won't be judged, you know? So I, I just cannot wait to, to show everybody what I can be, you know, what I can do or when you guys can come visit me, you know? And, you know, collab and make videos, do go on live together. I mean, it's, it's so much things that can be done. Next year, you're, you're gonna, you will join us for dinner next year. This year I invited her, I was like, girl, when you take us to dinner, why don't you just get off the car and come with us? Next year, you will be coming with us to dinner and I'll see you before next year. I'm gonna see you when I go out to Vegas again. I'm sure we'll have an event. Let's let's start your, I will come to your first wash party. I'll fly out there and we'll have your first like launch party, wash party. And I'm sure a couple of mamacitas here in Arizona would love to come. Maybe I'll do like an incentive of some sort and I'll fly me and two, two market partners and we'll go out there and help you with your first, your first wash party. Your first wash party that you are not legally able to like wash other people's hair in that setting. Pretty sure it goes state by state, but like you're, Imani even says like, you're not supposed to do that. Like you don't have a, like a license to do that. So please don't do that. Cindy, thank you for saying yes to me. Thank you for inspiring me and reminding me that this business is, there's no limit. There's no limit to who you can help and who's watching and whose lives can ultimately be changed. Whose life can be changed. She, nothing's changed in her life. Probably just spent more time and money on this. And it's probably taken away more time from her actually making money with Uber or Lyft. So there's that. There's no limit to who you can help. You mean who you can take advantage of? Girl, you definitely have no limit for that because it's it's just so messed up that you recruited her. This business, thank you for that reminder. I love you. And I'm I love you too. Thank you for noticing me. I appreciate you. Thank you, lady. Have a good night. Oh God, that's so sad. This woman just wants to be seen and loved and heard and given a chance. And absolutely, she deserves that, but not with money because that's, oh my God, it's so bad. Thank you for sending that to me. Uh, the person who sent that to me sent it to me a month ago. Let's check back in on Cindy and see if she's doing good. I mean, I'm gonna try to find her stuff, maybe at like the beginning of an, another Top Fails video or something like that. I'll give y'all an update of like how she's doing. Again, please don't, please don't send any hate her way. She's the victim here. She she seems like a like a, a great mom and a great woman. Her upline though seems like an absolute garbage weasel. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day night weekend whenever you're watching this. Remember to wash your butt and go touch grass. Log off the internet. Don't be weird. And like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.